Yo, Mike. How long have we been driving? Well, let's see. We left at what? Ten in the morning. Yep. So what is that? Sixteen well, hours. It's two twenty-five right now. And guess where we're at? Welcome to Florida. That's right, bitches. We're in Florida. <laughs> Uh, no. No, we can't. We got... Oh, we we, we still, still have two and a half hours to go. <laughs> Where's that for him? And here we are to Orlando Speed World with a giant line. And uh, not without issue, by the way. I can't wait to show you guys the issue that I'm having right now. You're gonna, you're not gonna believe it. So this is the damage going to LS Fest where a tire popped and I got all new tires. I got six new tires with tire pressure monitoring systems in it. So it's like uh, three and three and it shows up. It, it's really cool, it looks like this. And uh, um, I got an error last night, um, but I was getting a lot of errors because when it's back far enough like it seemed with the rain, the signals were, were being interrupted. And I thought one, just uh, the signal just kind of gave out and it's not coming back. Nope, 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 nope. The uh, the wheel came off. It uh, Now I have the, the hub off now trying to get repaired. The guy's supposedly gonna come here and you know do it right here, which would be awesome. Um, but unfortunately, uh, it looks like the, uh, the lugs backed off. Uh, maybe weren't tightened enough. Don't know. We didn't do it and I'm not gonna say who did mistakes can happen But at the same time freak incidents can happen, too. So uh, Yeah, yeah, this is uh, This is definitely unfortunate, but it seemed like somewhere about a hundred miles away this wheel went flying I didn't even notice probably because these tires are actually really good and uh, uh, Held it up. They they held the the trailer up without any sway or anything like that. I had no idea, which is nuts. But uh, yeah, but the story continues now. So not only did we have a wheel that couldn't stay on, we also have a wheel that would not come off. And <laughs> this is what happens when the factory lug nuts mushroom and what you have to do to get them off. Oh, damn. Look at that. Is the issue the lugs or we just... Yeah. Oh my gosh, let's see. Is this a hero moment? <laughs> I think that was the hero moment. It's out. And that one's already out. Like that one's, oh my gosh. So now we gotta take the other side? I don't know. We haven't gone there yet. I'll get this wheel swapped out real quick. And then we'll see the other side. Well guys, it's time to check in. Again, I'm doing this with no sleep because we drove through the night and just had issue with the trailer and now issue with the car. No time to rest. I'm hoping to get a little nappy through the wind. But I need to get some passes in. So we're going to go check in now. Uh, I should probably get the check-in cards. That'll help. And probably write, you know, stuff in it. So, yeah. Yeah, that, that will definitely help. How much does the Ghostbusters mobile weigh? I kept on telling you guys that it weighs more or at least it's full weight and it uh, indeed is it's actually a little bit more than full weight coming in at 4,500 pounds without me in it and I'm not gonna take anything else out except for the uh, the light bars because I don't want them to fly off so let's go see what she does Show me what I ran because I didn't get to see yet. So, you ran a 10-2 at 145. 10-2 at 145. Yeah, you let off. The, you let off. Yeah. You got in it and then it got a little swirly. Oh yeah, yeah I had to let, let out. Okay, I, I feel pretty good about that. Because yeah. I, I got out like it hard. Looked good. It looked good. Yeah, she, she felt like she was flying at yeah. the end. So I think that if I could just 
not spin, then the top end is uh, the top end. Oh no, no, if that thing's. Do you think nine three? I think that if I don't spin, it's going to be stupid. It's it'll be low. Okay. Let's see it. Yeah. Well, I, it. one step at a time. I mean, let me make sure that nothing's on fire because I haven't done that yet. That was the first shakedown pass, so let's check it out. The temps look good. Everything look good. That's cold again, so that's wonderful. Inner chiller's still working. All right, my turn now. Your turn. Betty White, everybody. Betty White, back into the in the fold. For those of you who don't remember, Betty White was my Corvette back at the beginning of uh, 2022 on the YouTube channel. We did a whole NA build on it, so it's uh, heads, cam, MSD intake, Cook's headers, and uh, I think it's the Vera Ram intake, which is surprising because we did three tests and it performed. I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look as nice as the other ones, the InGen and the AFE, but it seemed to perform better on the dyno, so we stuck with that. I sold it to my uh, my buddy and business partner for the online store, Mike. Uh, that's uh, Yoga Pants Mike to you. Nice he, uh, yoga pants. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> and uh, he's uh, he came down with me in the stacker up from hell. Well, it's about to run here at Cadillac Attack. Ten one at one is that ten one? I can't see. Is that does that say ten one? No, unfortunately it's at ten seven. Ten seven at I, I can't remember what it was. One twenty something. Do I look good? No. With this hair? No. You look like you don't think it's a good look? No, I, I think you are a sweaty emo. Sweaty what? Emo. Emo? Emo. Why am I emo? Because of your hair. Oh. oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. I might go with that style though. I gotta fix it up. Good luck. Hey gang, we are back for day two. Sorry, I uh, kind of went MIA for the rest of day one. I didn't get any footage. Uh, it was fun. Day one is just uh, test and tune. It's a paid rental. It's not actually part of the event, but I mean, it's everybody from the event and we set up there and uh, kind of like feel out our cars and whatnot. You pay like 200 bucks for like a track rental that you can go as many times as you want. Now we're going into the official stuff where we're actually gonna race. My car is not yet dialed in because I just got it off the uh, uh, dyno and brought it right to here. Didn't get any you know, street passes with it or anything like that. Uh, so hopefully I can get it sorted for what needs to happen, which is getting down the track into uh, the bracket racing classes, the index racing dial-in classes that I, I'm joined up in. Uh, I want it to be consistent. I want it to be fun. I want it to make it down without issue. I had to tighten up a couple things yesterday, uh, and my under panel came off, and since I didn't have a washer, I used a bottle cap uh, to uh, to put it on, but it should be pretty fun. So check this out. We've got a lot of racers here, a lot of serious racers here, lots of Cadillacs, lots of uh, Camaros, and a couple Corvettes. Uh, there's more V3s here than I've ever seen uh, at any event that I've been at. There's Mike from the shop. I'm gonna to pretend to run him over. Watch this. <laughs> Driver's meeting. What I'd like to do is if anybody has any complaints, come see me so we can try to make it better next year. So tons of different classes here at Cadillac Tech. I'm in the index class and the complete street performance super street class because that makes a lot of sense, right? We got lots of Cadillacs, Corvette stuff racing in here. The index class is in five or 0.5 second increments and it's a sportsman tree for those of you guys who are you know, curious. It's really fun, everyone can race. I think it goes from like 8.0 to 15 seconds. Uh, very open to like anyone who, who actually belongs at this event. Um, I am going to run this bad boy. Oh, I said it again. I said bad boy. I, I'm going to run this thing 
uh, full out, see what it does, and then you know maybe play with things, dial it down a little bit. If I don't get traction, I'm definitely going to detune it uh, on the launch and make sure that I do get traction. I might back out a degree uh, just for some safety because I am going to run this thing in multiple classes today and I really want to finish the day out like on a healthy note instead of like a not so healthy note. I opened up my uh, cutouts so I don't forget it. Pressing it one more time to make sure I did. We're going to be in right lane. Inner chiller is working great. Happy to see that. I'm racing something that looks to be pretty freaking fast. But it doesn't matter because we're doing shakedown passes and this is index racing. So you're really only racing yourself with index racing. as I was making it. I need to lose weight, so I'm gonna work on that. You almost lift the wheels on this. Yeah. We're about to run the Super Street class, which is the complete street performance Super Street class. And they are prepping it for us. They ran test and tune before us, uh, ran it all out. So the, the guys that with, uh, with normal street tires that rip up the track prep, we're gonna have some good track prep for this. So they're doing that right now. And then yours truly is going to begin the class out and make a statement and make everybody else like freak out. Now one of the cool things about this is that if you have a power adder, you gotta be 4,200 pounds. If you don't, you gotta be 3,800 pounds. So it should eliminate, you know, uh, unfair advantages. And if you have two power adders, you gotta be uh, 4,400 pounds. The one that I have a question about is, is that Corvette there? Maybe he just wants some fun runs, but but that guy, I have a feeling, is not 4,200 pounds. I don't know what happened that pass. Uh, it was like shifting, got, uh, got goofed up. I have a check engine light. I'm going to see what that's on for. Um, it, I think it lost communication with the trans when I shut it off and restarted it. It, uh, it seemed to work, but then it grew a check engine light. I gotta, I gotta figure out if something else is going on. And, uh, well, hopefully I can continue to race. <laughs> so I know what happened. So when I did my burnout, I got locked in like fourth gear, some electrical, you know, gremlin glitch. It wasn't supposed to be in fourth gear. I shut it off, started back up and ran. But when I started back up, traction control was on. That's why my uh, everything sucked. So I have to remember that in the future if it gets locked in fourth gear for some reason. Check engine light was on because my flexual sensor has uh, gone out. Um, but uh, I flatlined the uh, um, the stoic table so it doesn't matter at the moment. But that's the only reason why that, that was on. And then I started taking manual mode. I just, I was not comfortable with it. Uh, didn't like certain things, so I, I aborted the pull, and it's all because of traction control. If I had traction control off, everything would have been fine. Oh well. So now that I figured out what was going on with my car, my stupidity mostly, uh, I am processing online orders for our store, CSPRacing.com, a shameless plug, 
but I'm doing it at the track uh, to make sure that you guys who are ordering stuff get the stuff out ASAP. So, yep, that's that's me. Thanks for joining me, guys. And yeah, nobody's here. It's okay. I, I'm up to date now for the orders, responses. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll be back next week, but. Uh, by the time you see this, we'll be all up to date again. So that'll be great. Okay. Well, I guess it's time to go back to racing. Okay. Woo. That bad boy it goes pretty fast. If he's lucky, he got out of it with just kissing the wall. Looks like he was driving it just okay. Dang. All right, index class is racing again. I didn't have to qualify again. So Mike with Betty White is gonna qualify here. Again, he's gonna get a second run at the index class. And we're gonna video this thing. He's going for the far lane. I'm gonna try to get a video over there. Six, I think, at 120. This one might be a challenger that we're going up against. guys sorry about that uh dropped the phone well actually the the mount fell off but uh it was a nine five run so very good i uh but what i ran against was the vengeance racing car that has a little bit more power uh probably a lot wet, less weight because i'm 500 pounds over my uh uh over my class weight that i need to be so now i'm debating do i start taking things out now I'm going to do a 9.5 index and it just ran 9.5 on the dot. Do I want to mess that up? I kind of want the number, man. So I think we're going to, I'm going to try to rip some, some stuff out real quick. So I'm starting with the, uh, the trunk. I got all sorts of stuff in here because I, you know, it was important to me that we do uh, some things like full weight. Well, it just got less important to me. Using these three tools right here, this is all the stuff that I tore out of it. Uh, not the helmet. I'm going to take that with me, but... That's the back seat and the trunk. And uh, yeah, I, I feel like, I feel pretty good about this. I don't think we're gonna beat the Vengeance racing car, but I think that we're gonna, we're gonna do something good. So this is where it gets fun. I was a little late uh, getting into the, the lane uh, and I'm racing in two classes that are running like right after each other. Thank God I have the inner chiller. That's all I gotta say. But uh, I'm gonna get in line with the index racing and then I'm coming right back to race Ghostbusters against somebody else and uh, see if I lose one out of two or two out of two. <laughs> okay, we are racing an ATSB that he goes first because he's running a 10-5 and I'm running a 9-5, so I'll be a second behind him and then we'll meet at the finish line. God, I have that force induction inner chiller because I'm able to do that. Oh man, I usually don't win anything. So this is this is awesome. I felt like I started a little late, so I think that I, I didn't.
didn't cut I didn't cut a good light and I so I think that he broke out. And you know that's not the worst way to go. I know I got the wind light. I don't know, but I got the wind light. I think he broke out. I'm 99 percent sure he broke out. Because I'm pretty sure he crossed the wind. Uh, this is the complete street performance street blast those guys are going first and then we're back here yeah. he's so excited to race me <laughs> uh, just, look this thing is broken so many times so there's a chance that you will win there's a chance there's a chance the rounds it looks like index racing is a little bit further away from getting back onto it they haven't called us back to lanes yet I'm sitting here processing orders and somebody ordered the test product for one dollar to get you over the free ship I appreciate you I really do I think that's hilarious the test product is now ten dollars and I've refunded your order unfortunately because it was never meant to be like that <laughs> but I, I think that's hilarious I, I love it I love it you found something Part of me is thinking maybe I should ship it, but unfortunately I already refunded you before I, uh, you know, got that idea in my head. So you have to place another order, and it won't be free ship at that point. Sorry. Okay, we're back in line, gang. The uh, Ghostbusters Mobile is taking on the uh, a CTSV Coupe 105 dial in to my 95 dial in, and uh, what do you think? I'm ready for it. You're ready for it. My one of my favorite YouTubers. I'm gonna get beat by him. Rob will <laughs> take it. I'm gonna share it on my channel. He is. For my page. Oh, you got a page? Uh, my, my Instagram. Instagram, okay. D Diamond V2. Diamond V2. DMND underscore V2. Okay, so go subscribe. I'm so excited. He's gonna, he's gonna beat me though because I'm sleeping at the light. Yeah, but I'm breaking out. I'm breaking out real bad. I'm breaking out too. So It's gonna be who can break out the list. Yeah, and I just I just put more air in my tire so I could just spin off the line too. That's it. And then it's... I put a, I put a little bit in. Oh, I, boy. I, I went up the <laughs> We're like twins! <laughs> Twinsies! I lost my voice. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, a good, it's been a great day. I PB yeah. twice. Yeah, that's PB, awesome. My best PB, my best PB just now is ten four. Yeah, my best one's gonna be this pass, which will be nice. beat my nine four, and that means that you'll win. <laughs> good luck. Appreciate you. Good luck. Back safe. You too. Oh my God, I'm so scared. I can't wait to see the tail lights on this thing. Well, I mean, I don't know that you. Well, maybe at the end, if. Well, when you pass me, I'm gonna. We'll you know. see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know if I will, because. Like this did get a little squirrely, and I I'm a, a little scared yeah, of it. That's why I had to and they, now that the track's getting a little cooler, I don't know that I want to really drive it like that. I would say if I was confident enough, I put the hazards on. Yeah. But I don't want to do that. Now. You could try. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> but if you pass me, put your hazards on. Okay. Do okay. That. I'll I'll try. Yeah. I might I'm happen. you know it's probably not gonna happen because I'm probably gonna be hanging on for dear life. That's. Oh, my, mine's gonna be like I'm gonna put you by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Uh, okay. Good luck. Yeah, man. I don't know what I'm racing because there was a buy that didn't uh, run in front of us and it screwed up the line, so I was looking at the wrong person. There should be a sportsman tree. Yeah! I'd like to know what my 64 blood
was because it felt like it might have spun a smidge, like a real smidge. So I might need to take that smidge of power up, but you know what? The top end felt stable, so the extra air that I threw in uh, definitely was needed and definitely helped. So I'm not going to be running that low unless I'm uh, risking my life. <laughs> My temperatures are already back down. Everything's already back down. Wonderful. I looked at the log for the last one run, uh, but I'm kind of like hot lapping it here. The, uh, oh, am I over there? No, I'm, this is my guy. I'm sorry, I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, it broke up on the driver's side. I thought I heard a little missing on, uh, on the pass. Make, hopefully a spark plug wire. If I make it through this one, I'll double check real quick before the next class. But uh, that worries me because we're in. Uh, we're, getting, we're getting faster and faster, and I don't have any time to let anything cool down. So we got a little issue. We have a misfire on the bank two. Uh, it's probably a spark plug wire. We cannot identify the spark plug wire by looking at it. Uh, so I'm gonna bring spark players up, but I'm gonna take a little uh, detour, log it for misfires, find out what cylinder it is, and then and then uh, uh, change it in the in the uh, in the lane. So I hope that we have enough time for this. So I enabled this fire count, log it. I can't tell anything. We did push a harness out of the way that maybe was an issue. Uh, if it is, it's probably still under six. I'm leaving misfire counts on, uh, which may be a mistake. And uh, uh, well, we're, I'm gonna let her rip, I guess. Um, and either I'm gonna find out what the issue is this pass, or we've already found it and uh, did a kind of fix, which is jam a screwdriver in, in the middle of it. So, complete street performance, yeah. <laughs> I got the bike. Yeah. What was my reaction time? Huh? What was my reaction? You go my reaction I, I time? Don't know. I just said you got the bike. I got the bike. Break the knees. You ain't got to run flat out. Okay, this is great. This is awesome. I got the bike. And I earned it, too. It wasn't because I was last in line. It was because I had the best reaction time the last run. So this is great news because it gives me another round to possibly uh, win. So I can confirm it was cylinder six. What I can't like, and what we're going to determine now is if uh, if the uh, screwdriver I jammed in there will work. So I'm going to launch it. I'm going to see if I can get um, a, another good light and then try let out around the eight. is did it fix it 
You do not see it breaking up anymore, but the throttle actuator did throw a, uh, a code. So we're pressing our luck, guys. Okay, so they're calling Super Street. I'm in Index and Super Street. I still haven't been eliminated yet, which is an odd feeling for me. Uh, this is the semifinals. thing appears to have been the issue. I made it all the way through the pass. So we're doing hot laps. I just got back to the staging lane and it's 79 degrees intake to 79 degrees intake air temperature. So not bad. Like this is this is nice and cold. Love the inner chiller. I can't believe it's like I did get eliminated. Confirmed I broke out unless he broke out too. He said he didn't see a wind light either. Did you see a wind light on the thing? It, it wasn't one light for him? Yeah, okay. Awesome. Okay, but I still won 150 bucks from that class. Here. So I'm a winner anyway. I'm a winner anyway. Just keep telling myself that. <laughs> Those two guys versus us two guys. Don't know how it's going to go. So they're like, hurry up, get back here. ASAP hot lot this. You're going to have to come right back. Like, we can't wait for you. Can't do anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm here. I'm sitting here for like 10 minutes waiting with the car on running because, like, I was expecting to be running now, but we're not. But uh, the interchiller is just, it's kicking ass. This is the exact reason why the interchiller is awesome. I know this isn't an interchiller movie. This is a Cadillac movie, Cadillac attack movie. And, uh, I'm pretty happy with the inner chiller. <laughs> we haven't even shut it off yet. If I can beat this guy, I go to the finals. We are going to the finals! Beat there, but we're going. So, gang, we are in the finals of the complete street street class. And, and I'm actually so happy because it's what we wanted to do last year but didn't make it. So, we wanted to come out to the complete street class and like show us that show people that we can build a real street car that does really damn good. And we're gonna make this better for next year. That's what we're gonna do when we get back. Go from the 323 rear end to the 373s. And instead of being in uh, 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 like fourth gear still, maybe we'll even make a shift of them. That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> so the challenger, well not the challenger, this is this is the leader. There's a, this is, what's your name? Alan. Alan, okay, I'm Andrew. Well, th tell me about the car that's about to beat me. That's awesome. How much, how much power are you making? It makes like 14. 1400. I only make a thousand. How much does it weigh? 4285, whether like it is. With, with you in it? 4500 with me in it. 4530, I just weighed myself. Yeah, I, I, well, because, uh, I saw that there were some faster cars that I thought were in the class. I pulled out my back seats. Yeah, I was like, oh my God. And I, uh, I, sh I did that. Okay. But, but no, no, it's like, if I got the front seat out, it would probably take a decent bit. I think it's 72 pounds, but I didn't. So here we are. Hell yeah. <laughs> so that's cool. Twin turbo. I love twin turbos. We do, we do twin turbos on a lot of stuff. 
Well, a lot of my stuff. Not, not so much on customers for some reason. That's the way. Yeah. So you're just gonna, you're gonna hit scramble if I'm in front of you. You're gonna be like, oh. Huh? You're in front of me, Do you have a scramble oh, button? Yeah. Oh yeah. Does that go above 1,400 horsepower, or is that? No, four that's about that's when it, at 14. I'm running it now, probably about 1,200. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's yep. cool. That's gonna be a good time. At least in the end, Dude, we're both in the finals. So I'm just happy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just happy that both both of us get paid. Yeah. I actually get some money back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Expensive, expensive weekend. It, it was. My O2 sensors just died too. Driver side. So that's fun. So I am pretty stoked on how the wagon performed. Day one was incredible. I went round robin over and over and over again and had just minor little things that needing to, needed touching up, which is to be expected after you do a big build like this. And wow, wow, I am just so proud of what it did. Nine, five, nine, four, all day long, probably 20 some runs in that day, uh, round robin, sometimes not even shutting the car off, just incredible, loved it. Thank you to everybody that helped me out with it. Uh, Kong, uh, force induction inner chillers, wow, wow. Mike got eliminated the first round of index, so he didn't even put it in the video, but there is a day two, and Betty White might get the revenge.